Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 67 of Direwolf20 server play. Uh, just getting situated on the server. Uh, got uh, Elram, uh, C4TS, Richard G, and Thunderdark hanging out on the server with us. And, uh, you know, just doing my thing, getting situated. And I started messing around with computer craft to deal with these bundled cables. And I found that, you know what, I kind of prefer Red Power 2's method of handling um, bundled cabling and redstone signals. And Richard G has a bow and arrow. Rage. Uh, so I think I'm going to build a Red Power 2 computer today. Yeah, it's not a fire arrow, apparently, but that's okay. I'll kill him anyway. Uh, I need to start building a computer so you can see me getting situated to get all the stuff I need. Yar. So what you guys up to? I think everybody on TeamSpeak is a quiet one. Ouch. Yeah. Um... C4TS, do you talk on TeamSpeak, or are you another quiet, shy one, like Richard G and Thunderdark? No, I'm not shy. Oh, what's up, man? So c 4 Tua is uh, just basically a special guest of the uh, server. He hangs out with uh, me and Elram and a couple other people, so he's a cool guy. You don't do any mods, right, C4? I'm working on one. Cool. So I'm just getting ready to make some ribbon cabling. Don't mind me. Might go visit LRM today. Might not. She's uh, working on some crazy stuff. You should see the peat farm in her age. It's crazy how fast it grows. All right, so I'm gonna need some stuff. Let's see, computer components here. Uh, gonna need a lot of red doped wafers, as I recall. I should have a handful of them. Yeah, a few, but I could do with some more. Let's go cook up some. Oh, uh, what were their comments, Richard G? <laughs> I think 65 came out today, so I've only read a few of them so far. I haven't gotten through them all. Nice. So, uh, also going to need some Lime Lumar. And that should pretty much it. Oh, I need a blue electric motor. Okay, I can handle that. Bear with me just a minute, guys, while I get some crafting done. Oh, I already put that thing away. What else did I need? How am I for wood? Probably use a little bit more. Now I need some lime dye. And to go along with that, I need some redstone and glowstone, as I recall. Two lime dye and one of each. Okay, that doesn't look so bad. I can manage. There we go. Cool. All right, guys, let's set up a computer, Red Power 2 style. Uh, I'm going to put it, uh, I guess, like right over here-ish. Uh, I've got my CPU, which I'll put right there, and I'll put the uh, monitor right on top of it. Sweet. And, of course, the disk drive in the back. I'll run some, uh, you know what, I should probably get one of those... Uh, back panes and some memory upgrades so I can mess with the in-game editor. So let's go ahead and make one of those real quick, back in my age. I'm recording again, by the way. Uh, I want to get a back pane, which should just require a couple fine copper wires and some gold. All right, I can handle that.
Gonna need one of these diamond draw plates back again. There we go. And now we want some RAM. I believe that requires a diamond, um, some red doped wafers, and some more thingies. So that's cool. I can handle that no problem as well. For you. And for you. It's going to be important, trust me. There we go. RAM module. Nice. Back to the computer age. I didn't say what type of computer, just computers in general. <laughs> and don't worry, there won't be like an excessive amount of programming in this episode, I hope. And let's connect this guy. I guess we'll want to connect him like so. Sweet. IO expander ready to rock. Now I just need my fourth boot disk to go right in here. Yoink. And let's turn this thing on. What do you say? Start. Disk IO is 2, ID and console 1. We should be booting up here pretty soon. Yeah, we are. Awesome. I'll get any eye off the screen. We've got some RAM. We've got everything we're ready for. All right, let's get uh, ready to do some stuff. All right, guys, so you can see I've been messing around a little bit here. I've got a bottom arm uh, moving up and downwards. Um, so we should be able to do two times bottom arm up. And this should move the bottom arm up once and then twice. And the same thing for two times bottom arm down. Should move the arm down twice. I must have spelled it wrong. Yep. One, two. Perfect. Um, I've also got uh, bottom arm left and right going. Now I'm going to do bottom arm left dig, which will uh, colon to define a new worm. Word bottom arm left dig should be bottom arm left followed by, well, let's see. Do I want to dig and then move left? I'm thinking that's probably what I want to do, right? Let's see. Yeah, let's try that and see how it works out for us. So if I do three times bottom arm left dig, we should see a pulse and then a move. A pulse and then a move a pulse and then a move. Cool. Maybe I want to have a little bit of a delay going on there. All right, moving the bottom arm right three times. And what I'm going to do now is try three times bottom arm left dig. Pulsing, but nothing's happening. What did I mess up? Might just be waiting on power a little bit. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I might wind up getting rid of this battery box and just replacing it with a full-blown um, cable. Let's try that. I have to sleep through the night anyway. All right, just for completeness, I've shown you guys all the code that I put in so far, nice and simple. So now I'm gonna do three times bottom arm Yum. left dig. What's up, Soren? I am recording, FYI. And I am streaming. Oh, cool. Having lots of fun. Sounds oh, like hello. it. And this is Sparkster. He's doing a lot of those fax textures for most of the mods. What's up, Sparkster? Um, Sorry, kind of weird being in the Firefox channel. <laughs> it's cool, man. It's cool. I am recording, FYI. Cool. Oh, I know so give away all your secrets? Um, not gonna happen. Aww. Oh. Because there is no secret. I don't have secrets. I'm <laughs> sure you don't. So let's do something just to prove that this whole thing works. I'm going to give this. So, what you doing to today, Dyer, for recording? I am messing around with my uh, little 9x9 quarry thingy that I've got going on. And I'm testing the, uh, I'm programming a computer to control it. Sweet. 
So it did work, it just didn't pulse the last time because the thing isn't meant to do that. So uh, now I'm gonna define this. Should do the following. Um, you like marble brick, don't you? I do. Oh yeah, I forgot the semicolon. Using tons of Ah, oh, hello, that's on. Okay. Cool. So that should do that pretty well. Now I just uh, gonna put these things back down to prove everything's working. Oh goodness. Now if I type bottom arm clear, so what I should be able to do is type bottom arm clear and it'll move to the left three times clearing each way and then back to the right. Sweet. It's working. La 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 la. <laughs> I am enjoying myself. That right, I'll be back like after I define some more words. All right, so just to find a few more, more words here, frame down, up, left, and right. Um, I messed up when defining right and called it frame down because I was derping and then, uh, you know, forgot it and then recreated frame right. So we should be able to do, let's clear all this junk, frame down, and the whole thing should move down. Didn't it? Let me see. All right, we're back. I fixed my frame issue. It was one minor little detail, caused me some trouble, but it's working now. So let's see, frame down should move the whole thing down. Hey, look at that, it did, hooray. So uh, I'm gonna move it down once more. And that should put it flush with the ground. If it wants to behave, come on. Uh, one mm. thing about this, there it goes, um, is that these motors on the back here, the ones that move the entire machine, take quite a while to recharge their energy reserves after a movement. So it's literally like a good two or three second delay between being able to move this entire machine. Um, so, you know, pretty cool. So let's do our first frame clearing. Oh yeah, look at that, it's working. Sorry, so that's what you would all you you. <laughs> no, this is what I tried to do, and it failed. Dude, like this is gets... awesome. Yay. <laughs> so these are all the products I need to make the gates. But... Uh, I don't know. This build was ridiculous. It was indeed. Okay, I don't know what to do. Oh, now I do. It took you, like, what, 10 episodes? Seven? It, it took me a while, but in fairness, there was a lot of shenanigans going on between. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I could have probably done this in three episodes, if not for you and Richard G. And Pahamwar. And I'm still bound to... Oh. <laughs> trying to reply to people. <laughs> so now what I want to do is define a word called you can't frame even talk, dig you down. Hear you my that will do bottom arm clear and then frame down. Cool. That should work. Just going to save my words to disk in case I have any computer problems. I can boot off this disk and it'll have all my stuff. So frame In deep on MR, I am looking around on the server. I'm not sure what to do. And now let's see if this whole thing works when it's actually got blocks next to it. One saw that. Is Podmar in here? He's in the uh, stream chat right now. 
Tell them to get on TeamSpeak. Get on TeamSpeak, Bob Mark. I know you just heard that twice, but do it. Well, I mean, in theory, like, him hearing it twice means he'll actually do it. One would assume... What's that sign? Uh, huh. I wonder if I can times this now. I need to go visit VSDB's world. I'm trying to see if I can times this now and if it actually works. If it does, that'll be awesome. Oh, had a little bit of problem with power getting to my uh, frame motors. That oh. shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah, see, I can see my frame motors not quite getting the power they need to uh, be able to move left and right. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we're getting there. I just have to deal with power issues a little bit, and then we should be straightening out. BSWE likes low craft pipes. Another two minutes and I'm on band. Oh, well, I'm assuming Bob Mars at work, so. Naughty Pahimar. Come on, you should like invite everyone at your job to, you know, in the live stream. Did you know that would totally work? Should be able to do another. Dude, this thing is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can do this two times. I'm putting too much of a power demand on the uh, frame motors. Really? <laughs> yeah. I have something better than you, you and Diamond Blocks for your uh, record. Whoa. All right, guys, I added a blue electric cable thing to the machine here, and I'm hoping that allows the power to catch up into the frame motors a little bit faster and then hopefully not have as much of a problem. So we'll see if that really is the case. Um, are you moving or not? What's going on there? Hmm. Doesn't look like it did solve anything. Yeah, see the, the frame motors aren't, you know, able to keep up with the power that it needs in order to move all these blocks. I'm gonna either need to slow this machine down a little bit or see what I can do to fix that. Oh boy, I've caught myself in a trap no. now. Hello. Hey. I just Hello. showed your quantum suit on the... <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, VSWE? Yeah. yeah. You like buildcraft uh, pipes, dude. They're easier to make. <laughs> <laughs> I went in there, it's like, whoa. This goes oh, all over the place. It's much easier with red power, but I don't know, I just thought it would... Yeah. Build craft pipes and then oh why did I do it? Oh never mind. Don't even need to make a, an alloy furnace, you just Yeah. 
And they work better with the auto crafting ones, but that's not yeah. a good argument to be honest. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Red power is easier anyways. Mm -hmm. But yeah, spewing armor pieces is not as easy as you matter. <laughs> it's not <laughs> stacked, so I'm like going through. <laughs> and then since inventory tweaks kind of refills it, when I hit an empty space, it refills it. Like, oh. <sighs> yeah, this is so to cool. practice. You know what I could do? I bet I could just you put a delay of about, I don't know, maybe a full second between each bottom arm dig section. That might be a good plan. Make it 30, we'll make it a second and a half. Alright, are my arms in position or do I have to move this guy? Yeah, let's reset the arm with uh, two times. Should put it back in position there. Alright, let's do a three times. Did you just take a chest plate? I took... And then I put them back. Oh. You didn't have to. I have quite the amount. Yeah, I don't need them. I have to grab a chest plate. <laughs> it's your job to make the uh, auto character chest plate. <laughs> so see, a bit of a delay there. No, the dot dot dots are for someone else. Yeah, this time it's for you. <laughs> Dang it. I, I, not enough of it. I've given you the uh, normal quantum chest plate. You can use that. Okay, how about this? I either make grab a chest plate automatic or I keep working on Zycraft. The first one. Oh. My stream is not going to like you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, then again, I think it'll be split. And then there's going to be an awkward one that says you should do both. Because I clearly have the time for it. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. You have a legion of monsters down here, Dyer, if you weren't aware. I was not aware. Whoa, okay. I'm going to walk away from the hole. Yep, might just need a little bit more of a delay going on. So let me tweak this, guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, uh, basically I'm going to have about a second delay between the bottom arm clearing and then the entire frame machine moving down and then another full second delay. So that will hopefully make things better. Let's see, three times, frame dig down, go. And uh, also, for purposes of being able to watch what's happening, I'm going to clear out... I'm assuming my yeah. written statement's still here. Oh, I got blown up. That should trains. move down. Wait a second before executing the next command. I wonder if when we update to 1.32, XCOMP will get on anytime. He should. He better. He better, yeah. I think he's been on the server once since I've been on. Wow, seriously, power fluctuations? I need more delays than that. Oh, 
Oh boy, looks like I might need even longer delays. Let me go rewrite my words. All right, guys, I think I've got this working now. We're going to see if I'm right. Um, but I wound up going with a second delay between the arm clearing and then the frame moving down, and then eight seconds delay between the frame moving down and the next step. So we should see a bit of a delay here, um, but that's okay. So you can see it's uh, kind of rebalancing its power. And once all the power is redistributed, it'll go ahead and move the arm again after about an eight second delay. And it'll move to the, you know, that direction. Apparently, um, the um, stack size of a slot, well, you don't get into any parameters, so you can't really make it dynamic. But what could work, I haven't tried it, is you get the is item valid. So uh, and then you get an item stack, so then you can could uh, check if the uh, if the slot is empty and uh, if the uh, oh no then maybe not. I think, I think I got a way to work. To work. If oh, I'm recording by the way, is... you guys. Okay. Yep. Uh, if, if people like hearing the... programmer talk. Yeah, programmer talk's awesome. Yeah. If the slot on the far left, if it's empty, I can make it so you can put in 64. But if it's so see, they're both uh, low on power, so we're gonna wait a few item, seconds. And it's, uh, everything recharge and balance up. There is an item in the left. Slot, then only I upgradable will be able to put in. But wait, uh, the only like condition, f if it should be one or sixty four, is that something in your interface or in the? Uh, Currently, uh, it was to prevent people putting in six a oh. uh, stack of upgrades into the equipment item, and when you put it back in, it would only return one. So you essentially just lost sixty three of that item. And I could fix oh, that okay, now that okay. I think about it. I'll do that later today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Some time. <laughs> you know. When it's actually necessary. Because I tried making a GUI with buttons and as such. And that failed me. You will do it on any day which is greater than or equal to today. Indeed. Sounds fair. And not less than today. Is this thing done, by the way? Did we cycle all the times that I issued? I think so. <laughs> this is such a crazy machine. It's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Uh, people in the stream, Odidex is not in TeamSpeak. That is BSWE. I'm actually getting better at the uh, chronology of your name. I used to say BWSE. Say whatever you want. <laughs> e W S E V. There we go. You're gonna say that now. Just e adding an extra second there, and that should really straighten us out. Your name backwards is awesome. As far as you say any of the letters, I'm I'm happy. You shouldn't like remove all of them. Trying you to try there for the gauntlet. What do you think? So, uh, Soren, I'm going to put you on the spot and make you talk a little bit about your mod. Can you actually ask questions? Because Yeah, tell us again about the upgrade system that you have in, in mind. I know you were telling your stream a minute ago, but I wasn't recording. Ah, okay. So, essentially, you have equipment items and armor items. Everything, or at least most of the items and blocks in my mod will be upgradable. You take it to the engineering table, and you put what you want to upgrade into the left side of the... Uh, GUI, or GUI, however you want to pronounce that, or say. And this will open up the option to put upgrades into the center hex tile slots to upgrade that equipment or block. When you take it out, it'll take out all correlating upgrades and put it into the item so you can then use it. Like, uh, I put in the gauntlet and I want it to have a destruction catalyst type upgrade. I put in the impact pulse into the upgrade slots. I pull it out, and I just go trigger happy with the gauntlet, assuming I have enough energy. Cool. But so far, what I need to work on is the rest of the models, which I have three or four left for the initial release, and then the power system, and perhaps the actual recipes for my mod. 
Oh yeah, I imagine, you know what, like, it's always the little things that you don't think of that seem to be like the trickiest. I always imagined that um, recipes were definitely one of the more tricky things to do. In certain cases of balancing, it is. And my mod is a little bit hard. It's probably like the same scale as uh, Steve's cards or uh, Thumbcraft, where you have to make your custom crafting bench and your own crafting handler, kind of. I'm going to look more into that. Instead of just using normal crafting bench, we have... I'll use the engineering table. The uh, SWE, what do you use exactly for your cart crafting? Before... Yeah. Uh, I use a... Well, all of my recipes can be used in the, work, in the workbench. In the crafting table. Yeah, he uses a standard crafting table, but then he has a cart oh. manager thing too that makes it a little bit easier. Just because of the oh, okay. number of items you have to put together. Okay, so I'm thinking more but about that will be changed. Later. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, BSWB making big changes. Uh, uh. <laughs> Minecraft days, not real life days. Come on. But, I noticed uh, my frame not moving down. I'm trying to figure yeah, out Yeah, I think the best reference would be Thoundcraft and Fuser kind of recipes where he made all of his own recipes and made his own manager. Hmm. Why is this thing not moving down? Time for me to figure that out. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Just uh, sleeping through the night for a second. Uh, the problem was I had a panel on the side of my machine here uh, where this frame was, had a panel instead of a cover on it, and that was causing the block to get stuck. So now we should be all straightened out. I'm going to... Let's only go four times frame dig down. We should be getting close to the point where I can start digging forward which I want to really start playing with now. Yeah, how's everybody on here tonight? Hey, how's Hello. it going, Sky? I am recording, FYI. And... Uh, all right, now we're fine tonight, you know. Guy, would you like to uh, give the outro for my mod, or the stream? Hello, everybody on the stream. How many people are on tonight, Zor? It seems like 94. Oh, that sounds good. I, I never actually ever I thought I would expect to actually get down here and talk to you a lot. <laughs> you never know what will never know what'll happen if you ask. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words. And with that I think we'll end the stream. So thank you all for watching. See you guys later. Alright, Soren's stream is off. Woohoo. But I'm still recording. Yay. I need food. I'll be right back. Cool. What number are we up to now, Darwolf? Oh, I'm not sure where I'm at right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been recording for a while, so this is either going to be a really long episode or I'm going to wind up breaking it into two. So, yeah. Which I do do occasionally. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on my frame quarry as it digs into mm -hmm. the earth, and then I have to try and mess with the frame digging forward mecha mechanics, which will uh, kind of be fun, I think. Any, anybody break your frame quarry this episode? No, actually. Soren uh, was was behaving himself, I guess, because he's streaming. Oh, that makes a change. <laughs> hey, VSW. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I never actually thought I'd ever get to talk to you guys. All right, YouTube audience, I will be back in a few minutes. This thing I'm going to let run, and if I run into any problems, you'll find out. Oh, yeah, we just hit the 33-minute uh, mark, so this episode is getting a little long. I better wrap it up here. So this is Direwolf20 signing off on episode 67 of Direwolf20 Server Play. Come back next time. Hopefully this frame quarry will be in the position it needs to be. Oh, yeah, it's getting there right now. Um, in order for it to break forward and start moving straight forward into the wild blue yonder. Hooray! So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will be back next time. Take it easy, everyone.